Let's take a look at a piece from Repertoire Book One called Green Tea. This is from Unit 6, and this unit focuses on skips on the staff and also developing hands together playing. One of the things I really love about Premier is how we prepare students to play hands together. The ultimate goal, of course, is to play hands together on the downbeat and then to be able to play hands together note against note. In Green Tea, we have a piece that's probably one of the earliest experiences that they're going to have playing hands together. Here's how I would work on this piece with students. First, I would begin by having the student find all of the skips on the staff. I would have them circle with a pencil or they love using highlighters or there's these cool colored pens that are erasable that are really fun to use too. So I would have them go through, circle all of the skips that they find, and then we would go back and name the notes in those skips and also play them on the keyboard. Next, I would have them play measures one through eight. One through eight is the melody divided between the hands, and so it's fairly easy for them to accomplish this. The next area, though, that I would concentrate on are the last four measures of the piece, measures nine through 12. And this is where students will be playing hands together. So what I have my students do is we close the fallboard on the piano, and then we just tap the rhythm of those four measures, counting aloud. One, two, three, four. 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 If students are having trouble with that, I sometimes kind of coach them through it like this. Left, right, 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 right left, right, right. So then they get that feeling of which hand should be tapping at the same time. Next, then we just need to identify what they're playing in measures nine through 12. So the left hand has landmark F and middle C, bass F and middle C, right hand has the notes A and F, and then they play D and A together at the end. Finally, I would play measures nine through 12 hands together. And then you can go back and put the whole piece together. So let's listen to this piece with the optional duet accompaniment. <laughs> 